everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of Adore on Xbox. Now this released on the 3rd of August 2023, developed by Cadabra Games and published by Cubite Interactive who were kind enough to send us a copy for this video review. So big thank you to them for that. Now Adore is a sort of mix of genres. It's a monster taming action game mixed with a roguelike. So in this game you basically play as this boy who is tasked with basically bringing back the god of creatures and you have to basically capture these creatures that are spread across a variety of missions and use them in sort of battles against other creatures including sort of giant legendary creatures in a variety of different runs very similar to other roguelike games now i did like the sort of creature collecting aspect of this game it does make it stand apart from some other roguelikes i don't particularly like some types of roguelikes how they play and stuff but the monsters and like the creatures you get to fight and fight with are pretty cool now you basically have to um capture these creatures by sort of standing in a certain position in front of them or behind them and sort of keeping them busy while it like the meter builds up once you've captured them they'll be assigned to one of your four button slots and you push the button and the monster will pop out do a quick attack and then return to you and it's all about sort of comboing and learning when's best to set off each creature in your party and using their abilities because each one has different types of abilities and stuff like that now they all have their own health but if they get down to zero you start losing health as well so you have to make sure that you look after yourself but also your creatures as well now your creatures also work together so you can create synergies between them and these basically um don't always happen in each sort of run so sometimes you one creature will work better with another other times it won't and it just gives it a bit more of that randomization every time you play now not only do you have that you also have um traits as well so um you'll find these statues of drachnar which is the god of creatures and these give your um, creatures traits which give them uniqueness as well and each creature also has a special ability and they have like an energy bar when it fills up you'll be able to use that special ability at will now it's not just simply battling as well there's a load of story based missions to go through you can interact with people and stuff like that you basically at the beginning of the game you end up in this like little village and you have to sort of work your way up and sort of prove yourself to the people there as well as progressing the story and stuff like that to um basically be become a good adorer and I, I don't like that term but that's the term the game gives it now there's also other things you can get to sort of improve your game. There's ruin, uh, runes, should I say, and artifacts. So equipping these runes and artifacts will give you upgrades. So these are like semi-permanent upgrades. If you die or your characters die and stuff, you will lose them. That's the nature of the roguelike. There's also cooking, where you can gather ingredients and create foods and stuff like that, which will like heal you and give you buffs and stuff. And all in all, it's not a bad game. Now, this is one of the more sort of well-polished games I've seen put out by Cubite Interactive. And I'm not complaining about Cubite Interactive games at all. I've covered many of them on this channel. And a good chunk of them are really great. But this one feels like it's like a step up in quality in terms of like the UI is nice. The artwork's nice. The cutscenes are there are nice. The only thing it's missing is voice acting in my opinion but it doesn't take away from the game there's still like all the text and stuff to read to progress the story along now the story in the game isn't the longest and after a couple of hours it does get a bit repetition in the way it's playing like i say you'll go into these little um quests in different areas 
and you will be basically clearing out enemies from one zone to another, completing specific things in each of these levels. Might be find certain things, capture certain things, defeat so many enemies, that sort of thing. But the gameplay loop does get a little repetitive later on. However, if you're into like your roguelikes and you don't mind that sort of repeat this, repeat that, and get better with each run, then this is a game you'll probably really like. And I do like the sort of top-down uh, viewpoint of the game. It makes it feel a bit Diablo-y. Um, but you obviously, your abilities and your actions are done off of your bumpers. And then you use the A, B, X and Y to summon your creatures. And overall, it's pretty good. It, it, it needs a bit more explanation at the beginning of the game it does have a decent tutorial but I, I didn't seem to click with it i don't it might be just me personally but once i finally figured out what everything did and how to do everything and i managed to equip everything to my characters and my creatures and stuff and got some runes and stuff it did get much better and then when you end up taking on the big bad sort of legendary um creatures the game does sort of jump up to another level so, overall, definitely worth checking out. It's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles. It's also available on other platforms as well. It's optimised for Series X and S, and it's priced at £16.74. So, if you want a fun little sort of roguelite with some unique mechanics, definitely check this one out. I could easily see this game getting expanded in the future. I mean, the whole like creature capture really goes in my opinion to expansions and new dlc added new creatures new and you have like a, an overworld map as well when you go into like the the like dungeon runs you could easily just add another region onto that map do you know what i mean and just keep expanding it so i would like to see it get improved upon in the future it's a very good base and it's a fun little twist on the, the genre that i've played before so check it out if it's your kind of thing. But like I say, if, you, if you're not a big roguelike fan, you may not like this one. But I suppose the creature capturing aspect takes away a little bit of the sort of grind you do get from the roguelike genre in general. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.